Hi, Scorpio loves. How's it going? Gwen here to do your energy forecast reading for um, uh, Taurus season. Yes. I knew as soon as I started your reading, I would have dog energy coming in. So you might be feeling dog energy. And that's about unconditional love of self and being loyal, right? So being your own best friend kind of energy. They're riled up because there's landscapers outside. So the reading may get noisy. I just feel like it's gonna. Um, I thought I was doing your reading earlier today when I did the collective reading. So that tells me, Scorpio, that you may be feeling what the collective is feeling. It was no mistake that I, it was as if I was speaking to you. So if you haven't watched that collective reading, um, it has a picture of Falcor because it was a dragon reading, okay? So, yeah, definitely check that one out if you're a Scorpio here today. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want your own private reading, I can do that for you too. Um, all my information is in the box below. If you drop a comment down below, that's how you get entered into a chance to win a free reading. A comment, an emoji. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle doing this with the dogs barking. See, that's the thing. Like, working from home, where I travel. <laughs> these dogs don't listen when you tell them not to bark. Not these ones. I'm going to be patient. I am patient. Scorpio, have you been being patient? This is what's the goods reading, okay? So what are the blessings coming in Taurus season? Taurus season is about love, beauty, um, feeling wealthy within, richness in life, taking good care of self, what you consume, your mindfulness practices, home foundations, connecting and grounding your energy, connecting with earth energy, all of that. That's Taurus season. And we have eclipses, the lunar eclipse happening in Scorpio, in the sign of Scorpio, which tells me there's going to be huge transformations, deeply felt transformations, shedding an old skin, embracing the new us in this beautiful part of our ascension. I don't even know how I've said that with the dog. Like, I feel like there's some energy that's a kind of... Like you're trying to tune it out kind of energy. You still feel it, hear it, sense it, see it, whatever. But like, yeah. Oh. Do you hear all the noise? What, Scorpio, is going on? It is so loud when I try to tune into your reading. And are you trying to like talk over the top of somebody or something? People don't understand when you have to work from home, what it's like. I'm talking to somebody who works from home. Yes. Anyways, I am not about to yell at you, Scorpio. I am not. I, I want to come in soft and strong for you, okay? So we're going we're gonna to clip two videos together because this is just... You know, not good timing to do this reading, obviously. And there is a big focus about time in your reading with this seahorse and the six of swords about the sands of time here. Yeah, darling. So, trust you get the rest of this here in a few. I love you. Okay, Scorpio, I'm back. Um... So I do feel like that there's going to be a lot of energy that gets super loud for you and you may need to withdraw um, and take a break uh, and center and ground yourself quite a bit. I felt the energy even coming um, that things were going to get loud, whatever that means. And for you to become more of an observer is definitely a message in this reading today. So... Remember, it's general. I don't even remember if I said that to begin with, but like, take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's see what the goods are for Taurus season. Um, what I'm going to start with today is a postcard. And it's, isn't it interesting that we've been talking about already time, okay? Um, 
And by the way, I lit a candle for you. So if you see some of uh, the little lights here in my glasses, the reflection here, I thought that was necessary as well for your reading. Like you're, you're going to witness or you're seeing some sort of light, truth, revelation, epiphany. Um, the candle that I lit is lemon balm and cedar. So, but here's the postcard. I love to collect postcards. And so I thought I'd add, I'd draw one out of my hat and intuitively read it. So you could also be thinking about traveling. If not, then maybe astral travel is a thing for you uh, that you do a lot of. Um, I've got the rabbit hole here. Down the rabbit hole energy. And this is a postcard that one of my dear sisters sent me. So it actually has a written letter on the back of it. So some very endearing, empowering words that came from my sister at this time. Um, and I'm just going to read you the PS part. Oh, well, I'll read you the first question and then um, I'll, I'll read you the PS because I think that's important. And look at how this rabbit holds the... Um, the yeah the watch here the old-fashioned pocket watch this is the old-fashioned pocket watch keeper of time here and time of the essence and watching time go by down this rabbit hole going down many rabbit holes per se scorpio are you um where time slips away from you as well um yeah like a daydreamy kind of uh state Feeling like you maybe jumped a timeline? Rabbit energy, too, is about fertile times ahead. And this is the year of the water rabbit. So here's another sign for you. Here's your fucking sign. Go down the rabbit hole. Um, to opportunity, to new opportunity is what I hear. It's just a matter of time. Um, to embrace who you really are because of what the, the question here on the back. Do you think it's time to go down the rabbit hole and remember who you really are? And P.S. You can do anything. I just love that for Scorpio right now. Okay. Yes, the energy may feel loud because you are loud. You are proud. You are, you know, uh, transforming. Like you are that sign of. You know, oh, I, I'm a new me today. Who was that yesterday? You know, like transforming all the time, death, rebirth cycles, right? Like you're no newbie to that. So there's a new rabbit hole that you're going down, though. It's just a matter of time. Let's let's see what they're talking about here because we're talking about the goods. So now I've got um, playing cards for you today. Sometimes I read the playing cards. I have three that are face up, three that are face down. Six cards. Six is about connecting your spiritual roots, a time for you to, to refocus, balance, ground, and perfect time. It's Mercury retrograde. So all those rewords, rest, rejuvenation, review, recreate. What's on the mind? What's coming in? What's the goods? Love. It's hearts all up in my face, Scorpio. <laughs> First card out, King of Hearts. Here you are. We all have masculine within us, so the King energy is divine masculine energy here in my reading. Okay, Usually with fair hair, the heart suit. Um, it doesn't have to be. And I would say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here, water sign. The heart's suit when I'm reading these cards is about love, devotion, relationships, your hopes and dreams. So we've got divine masculine um, energy here. You coming in. And, and, it, and when, it, when it flew out, I was just like, oh, Scorpio's in love. It just felt so dreamy, so like not like um, like with rose-colored glasses on, like a love that is evolving, a deep love, and I, it feels like it's self with self that's already happened. Um, you're seeing your own growth, the love for yourself, um, and becoming more patient. 
with all this time that's of, of essence here as well. Three and four of hearts. So it shows me you, three of hearts is usually, if, if there, so let's talk about, the, let's call it three of cups as we're getting used to these cards. It's a celebration, but also signals, uh, it could have been a heartbreak here in love, okay, where you're still healing wounds around the heart, okay? We'll see what else is coming. There's another four. So when I see multiple fours, that's you guarding yourself. If it's like a boxed-in energy, also angel presence around you. Uh, four of diamonds. We're diamonds, we're talking money, okay? Stability in money. Being able to save money, okay, is the four of diamonds. What else? I want to see what else is going on. Oh, yes, there's the new beginning. It's a brand-new opportunity. But you're up in your head about it. There's a lot of love on the table here, but you're in a head. You're up in your head about something. Here's the brand new opportunity. The ace. The, this ace of clubs has been coming out for a lot of these readings. It's a, the club sign is a lucky omen sign for me. So this could mean many things. It's a wand suit. It's a fire suit. It's creative adventures. It's passionate adventures. So it could be work, business, play. You know what I'm saying? It's very much an entrepreneur, outside of the box kind of energy. A lucky new beginning. A lucky new opportunity. But where you have to make a decision, though. You're kind of up in your head about it. Stuck in, in an in, in indecisive mode here. No choice has been made. And there's a message of love coming. With a jack of hearts which I would call the page energy or a younger energy, a message of love again on the underlying energy. It could be an apology about some sort of seven of spades, some sort of dishonest behavior as well. Okay, that's what I see in the playing cards. Now let's go to your animal oracles cards, which, like, I think of all these cards today, the seahorse is so important. They're going to, your angels and guides are going to continue to talk to you. And I do apologize for the background noise. Spirit wanted me to continue. So, like, if you hear the noise, that is, um, <clears throat> I feel like it's a message, too, of, like, things are under construction behind the scenes. Just watch and wait. That's the seahorse's message. Just watch and wait. If you think about the seahorse and how it ha it, how it travels, uh, how it floats so gracefully, or like hovers gracefully, hovering energy, staying out of the turbulent waters, right? Being able to swim upright in that powerful ocean, right? So it's about perspective here, like looking at things from all different angles because of how he floats and hovers and right and staying out of the drama, the loudness, <clears throat> the chaos of others, um, staying out of those turbulent waters and having patience as well because it's about, you know, divine timing here, the seahorse energy, card eight. Eight is about harmony and flow and abundance. So it's as if like what you've invested in, just watch and wait. It's just a matter of time here. There is this pressure of time. I feel Scorpio like time is of the essence with the six of swords here. He's like rolling up his sleeves, time to get to work, looking at that time piece right? A focus on time. It did come up in the reverse. So I want to read that to you because I think it's super important here. Sixes and eights are about balance and harmony coming. Balance and harmony. Seahorse says, watch and wait. Um, let me grab this book about the six of swords here. 
scrolls are about wisdom, right? There's a ton of wisdom right here by his side. And he holds some sort of wisdom in his hand. Correct? Right? So in the reversed, you may have more time than you think, so there's no need to hurry. The sun is rising in the east on a new day, and the hourglass is full. The task at hand, okay, in the reverse, the hourglass is full, okay? The task at hand may require more research and follow through, so take all the time you need. You may even have the opportunity to investigate further or to contact with others who can help. So take a breath. You've got plenty of time to explore, okay? Because right now, I do feel like I sense that with three and the four of cups, three and four of hearts there, that you are like mending a broken heart. Um, there's been some sort of trauma, pain uh, that's coming back up to the surface for healing again. A pain that keeps, like you're keeping this pain narrative alive and maybe this, be on the lookout for that, okay? And why I say that is because I have the wasp here with sometimes live stings. It did fly out in the past energy. It is a card frequency 46. So there's that six again coming to balance in home foundations, okay, for frequency. But it's a 10. It's a ending and a beginning in the past here that hurt, that stung. And it's it, there's a sense of you replaying some sort of pain here with this. You can tell a new story, the lookout. Okay, the lookout card from this Akashic record is 17, which is the star card, right? And in the reversal here, um, that one's important too, they say. Hold on. The lookout may seem to have fallen and lost their position. Whatever this was, maybe you lost a job or lost a promotion, lost in a relationship, lost somebody that you love dearly, okay? Um, the lookout may seem to have fallen and lost his position, but he is now free from the heat of battle. You may find yourself in the throes of a sudden and difficult loss, perhaps a job or relationship or a major creative opportunity. As painful and challenging as it might seem, it is truly a gift in disguise. The loss actually takes you out of conflict and sets you free to reach for an even higher opportunity. You don't even have to be on the defensive any longer. You're on your way to a uh, larger than life life. I love that. I love that for you so much. And that, by the way, is another 8 frequency. 1 plus 7 is 8. And now they come in with the 38. They start you with an 8. Now here's the 38, the lizard spirit. A lizard is about be uh, about regeneration, okay? Fighting a good fight, right? There's a brand new you now, though. The lizard is a very um, sensitive creature. Talking to someone highly sensitive, intuitive, psychic is what I'm talking about. Dream the world into being. Card 38, which is an 11. You are manifesting. Trust yourself more. Okay? 1-1 one, one frequency. 10 and 11. The, the light of the world. Okay? The wheel in reverse. Okay? So there could have been some stagnancy, a lack of, of finances, um, a dimness in your world, a depression in your world, a lots of distractions in your world like see this this guide is knocking outside the door here and this boy inside is so distracted by this cat whatever like he doesn't even hear the knock at the door spirits knocking it's time to co-create with spirit here is what i'm saying this pain from the past really like it's it's talking about you rebuilding yourself again Re regeneration right the lizard can lose its tail and and Grow it again, right? <clears throat> so after suffering some sort of loss, you've, you're you turning your pain into power here is what I see. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. A life cycle's ending. The number 10 card. Yeah, something disruptive in your life may have thrown you off balance. The lizard was in reverse here. And so was this. 
Or if you've gotten very busy and the personal self has focused on the little details of life instead of the inner priorities of spiritual truth, you have put the higher self behind you and may turn to it only occasionally and sometimes only when a personal need arises. Understand that as long as you ignore the highest part of who you are, you turn away from the greatest source of your power and joy. The light of eternal wisdom is knocking. Open the door and keep opening at it until you hold it within you absolutely. Okay? And you have all the time and the power in the world is what this card says here. Scorpio. I love that for you so much. And, and things are about to speed up for you. Get loud, speed up. It's getting loud again, right? And now I got the antelope. Lots of messages coming, lots of offers, a lot of creative, you know, like maybe it's commissions. I'm not sure, but there's it's think, lot, things are moving. Time feels like it's moving faster for you, too. And it's important for you to set healthy boundaries here with the armadillo spirit and watch your words. Your words are very powerful tools of creation, but they can also be very destructive tools like weapons, okay? So be mindful of how you um, talk to yourself and how, like, your children, too, are always listening. So, you know, there's a parrot here, so it's kind of like a mimic energy that I'm feeling as well. Um, yeah, that was all the underlying energy. And then peacock, which is about shining your heart light, speaking your truth, living your truth, heal divine masculine energy here. So, Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so if did that happen here too? Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, they're just showing me the progression here. Like it may take you a while to see the progression in your own journey because I just skipped right past it. But in those playing cards, I had an ace, two, you'll remember, ace, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fuck yes. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Four, five. Do you need to see it closer? Two, three, four, five. Spirit's always talking to you. And then the peacock is 46, so. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, four, six, five. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Let's get into love, darlings. Okay. That's what I had from the animal oracles for you. So, yes. And the Akashic Tarot. And from the Akashic Tarot, Eight of Cups. Eight of Roses on the underlying energy. Okay? This shows it's community, Sangha. You know, maybe for a while you've been living a life where you thought you were extremely happy, you know? Eight, eight's a harmony frequency. But the Eight of Cups is about searching for <sighs> brighter horizons a community here, like maybe you're searching for your soul tribe or, yeah, yeah, a different sort of connection. Looking for the ninth cup, your wishes, dreams, tenth cup, ultimate happiness. It's you're happy. You're looking for a different sort of happy now, eight of cups. And it has to do with community, working within a community, living within a community and working together tribe aspect here moving sun is just gloriously shining through that window there windows open windows of opportunity here yet with seven of forces too look at all that golden light coming in and balance being restored mm -hmm. i love it okay so let's what's going on with love we saw that king of hearts we saw three of hearts we saw four of hearts we saw the jack of hearts What's going on with love for my Scorpio babies? This is a deck I created. I call it Universe. Uh, love Notes from the Universe. Love Notes from my soul. <laughs> this could be thoughts, feelings, signs, symbols, synchronicities. Okay. What's going on within the connection? You could be, cross watchers, you, you could be here and watching, and this could these messages could be for you. You know, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, so... Take it how it resonates. You can flip rolls or whatever. But sometimes I say he, she, they. I don't know. Like it's not gender specific. So 
What do we got for Scorpio during Taurus season? What are the goods in love? What are the goods? Show me the goods. Show me the goods. Scorpio babies. Scorpios in love. Scorpios. That flew into the past energy here on the floor. Oh, God. Can I bend over and get these? Stretch. Way back to the past over there. Been some dust and dirt. I need to sweep the floor. Oh, okay. Brush those off. What do we got here? Sometimes all you need is a hug. So Scorpio needs Scorpio babies need a hug. There needs to be more tender love and hugs, but in the connection as well. Somebody needs more hugs. Let's hug for at least 20 seconds. That's how we connect our heart chakras. Somebody needs a hug. You could be dealing with an earth sign. We've got earth sign karmic here. And it's a green energy with card, which tells me there is unconditional love there. You could have earth in your chart, dealing with an earth sign. Remember, just take the ones that resonate, leave the rest. Let go. Somebody is in the process of letting go, surrendering, trust, have faith. Within this, what they feel <clears throat> as far as like, the love within themselves, that's what I felt that King of Hearts was going through, falling in love with themselves again here. Kind of energy. It's very passionate. It's a bright fuchsia color here. Okay? It feels very, yeah. Knight of Cups energy, but it's King of Cups, right? Passionate pink. Let go. Let go of the past. Let go of who you were yesterday. Let go. Allow. Flow. <clears throat> Dream the new you into being. Lizard. Co-create with spirit. Just watch and wait. Trust, like... Trust that your manifestations are coming to you. Trust that you are worthy of a love. Let go. Maybe somebody's trying to control a lot of things within a relationship. Let go. There's a huge, and huge surprise in store for you. Scorpio, what am I supposed to hear a surprise about? Love potion. Mm, somebody doing some magic on you? You into magic? I don't know. There's a love potion. Somebody put a love spell on you. Love potion. One step at a time. Baby steps even count. One step at a time. Feeling good in your own skin. Yellow energy here. Sunshine. New beginnings. One step at a time. Yellow energy. Okay white here this person thinks you're amazing scorpio it's truth it's blue and white okay it's a clarity you're amazing it's clear lay it down wow has this card been coming out a lot for the collective in every one of these readings lay it down lay down the fight lay down the sword lay it down like lay down the drama lay down the the old you, the old views, lay it down. Lay down the job you hate. Lay down, lay it down, lay it down. Lay down the burden, the burden. Lay it down. Somebody wants to lay you down is what I've been saying as well. Lay down, literally, Scorpio, lay it down. Listen more and talk less. It's unconditional love here with this beautiful deep green heart healing card. Listen more and talk less within the connection. And somebody's been daydreaming. I'm talking about that daydreaming fantasizing, daydreaming. What else? <clears throat> In the future coming out here. Whoa. Oh, cards just want to jump now. <clears throat> I knew the moment we met, it was you. Okay, kind of like a love at first sight. You remember this person maybe? Okay. Pardon me while I pick up this pile of cards. Here's the first one that flew out. In the future. The best thing to hold on to each other is... The best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Audrey Hepburn. Okay. Someone could really enjoy a lot of old-fashioned things. That's old, old-fashioned um, kind of quote. Um, you may be holding on to this connection for a while now. The best thing to hold on to life is each other. You don't want to let, somebody doesn't want to let go, and I've already said somebody needs to let go. Hmm. 
Okay. Divine Masculine coming out. Divine Masculine, yellow energy here. Somebody has been suffering in silence. Black card there, doing some shadow work. Exclamation point. Just things, the loudness, things being turned up a notch. Surprises, I've already talked about. Blue and white energy, a lot of truth, a lot of maybe exclamation, words being projected, parrot energy. I said, watch your words, like exclamation point, loud energy here. Excitement, awe, surprise. What? When do we put that exclamation point? And it's also like the pattern here on the dot is a spiral. It's about some sort of pattern. Like you're going to start sowing some seeds of unconditional love, the garden of love here. I love that. So in the seeds of love. I'll go through one more time for you, Scorpio, and then we're going to leave it there. What else? If you want your own personal private love reading where I get a lot more into detail. I mean, I use this deck, but then I use my Tarot of Sex Magic, and I have Love Oracle deck. So just reach out to me. Just wanted to see what the goods was here and for a season for love for my Scorpio babies. Growing together. There's all this unconditional love. Yep, there sure is. There's a lot of green cards here. Growing together. Listen more. Talk less. The garden of love. Right? Wasn't there another green one? The light green one is the earth sign. Karmic. Okay, but all three of those. Same color green there. Um... I need you like a heart needs a beat. There's someone that's very, like, and Scorpio can be, very passionate, passionate with their words, poetic here. Like, this, somebody feels like this connection is just a vital part of their life, right? The heart beat. And it's very romantic, I feel. Uh -huh. A sigh of relief. Like, somebody is like a breath of fresh air or breathing a sigh of relief. Maybe there's forgiveness that's happened. The air has been cleared. It's like this light blue energy, right? Um, and be, pay attention. This was right here on my knee. Somebody is aware that there has been some trickery afoot. That's how it was just placed on my knee, too. It was kind of interesting. Pay attention. There's eyeballs there. See? Okay? Somebody is very sweet. Killing you with some sweetness, maybe. You think they're super sweet? I don't know, but sweetness is here. Be more sweet on yourself. This is a pink card, okay? And somebody you just love their cheese is talking about how goofy they are, um, that their cheesy self. Maybe you just really love cheese. It's another yellow card. And you're dealing with some yin-yang energy here, you know, like um, opposites that feel whole, uh, chaos and order, or light, dark, that's yin-yang energy here. And your words are my food, your breath, my wine. Ooh, yeah, somebody's super poetic here, <laughs> Scorpio. I love it. Okay. If you enjoyed this reading today, drop me some love down below. I'm going to leave it there today. You got some great messages. You've got a lot of goods coming. And there's some, some sort of new lucky opportunity with that ace. And there's love all over the place, so there's a focus. There's a need for you to focus on um, caring for yourself as well during this this um, Taurus season too. Okay, and remember how powerful you are. Okay, it's just a matter of time. Maybe it's be time to become an observer and watch and wait and avoid all the turbulence and the loudness in your life. Okay. Focus on nourishing that inner light within here. And you all, you can regrow your tail. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Maybe you feel that way right now. I, I feel lion energy now coming in through the lizard. Like, you can regrow your tail. Even a lion can. It's a song. Fire tail, I don't the place. Till I'd swat the flies. Kings of the Stone Age. 
If I had a tail. Yeah, listen to that for some flavor and vibe. <laughs> I love that song. Okay. Sorry, I was like in daydream mode over here, Scorpio. <laughs> Anyways, until I see you again, take good care of you, and I love you so much. Thanks for all the support that you give the channel. Love you, babies.